a prayer to destroy negative words spoken against you. Words are powerful time and time again. We see the Bible referring to our words and the power of our words. Proverbs 18 verse 21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Ephesians 4 verse 29 Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Matthew 12 verse 36 But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Words have power. God spoke the world into being by the power of His words. We see this in Hebrews 11 verse 3. Through faith we understand that the words were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Words do more than convey information. So today we are going to pray against any negative words we have spoken, and also against any negative words that have been spoken against us. And we are also going to ask forgiveness for the idle words we have spoke. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, because your word is forever established in heaven. The heavens and the earth may pass away, but your word will never return to you void until it has accomplished the purpose for which it is sent. First and foremost, Father, I repent of every negative word I have ever uttered against myself or spoken to anyone else. I ask that you forgive me for every wrong use to which I have put my tongue. Forgive me for any time I have used unholy words in anger, or even when I have said any idle words. I ask that you may have mercy upon me in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ. The Word of God says in Luke 6 verse 45, a good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure of his heart, bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Therefore I know that the words that I speak reveal the condition of my heart and what is inside me. I pray that you may continue to create a new heart in me, that I may only speak the words of God and words that are pleasing to you. Enable me, Lord, not to be a person that spews out negative words to myself or to others. Allow me to take control of my tongue and use it with the wisdom that comes with the fear of the Lord. Father, I come before you today to submit myself to you humbly in the name of Jesus and to resist the devil in my life so that he may not have any room in my life. Lord Jesus, not only do I come against every negative word I have spoken against myself, but I come against and destroy every negative word people have spoken against me or my family in Jesus' name. I come against every evil association aimed at speaking evil into my life. Anyone that attempts to curse or speak any negative word against me or my loved ones, let their words not come into fruition in my life. In Jesus' name. Isaiah 54 verse 17 states, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Father, I pray that this verse may be a reality in my life, that every negative word spoken against me, every word used as a weapon against me, 
every evil word spoken to pull me down, or any of my loved ones shall not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon the authority which you have given me in the verse that states, Every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Lamentations 3 verse 37 says, Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass when the Lord commandeth it not? Let there be a disestablishment of every word that was not spoken by the will of God into my life in Jesus' name. I submit my life to you and my family's life to you, Father, so that only the will and purpose of God is permitted to be established in my life. I pray that I may live in the reality of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You, O Lord, make me lie down in green pastures. You lead me beside the still waters. You, Heavenly Father, restore my soul. You, O Lord, lead me in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You, Lord, preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thank you for this, Father. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Now, as you are listening to me, I am going to speak words of blessing for the word of God to bless your day today. The first word of blessing I want to speak on your life is God establishes your steps. Your steps are established by God. Psalm 40 verse 2 He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the murray clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. God will guide you today and for the rest of your life. You need not to worry because the Bible says He establishes your steps. The second word of blessing I want to speak on your life is God is always present in your life. Psalm 46 verse 1 to 2 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. You are never alone. God will always, always, always with you. The third word of blessing I want to speak on your life is you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139 verse 14 I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. God made you. God created, and you are not an accident. God made you on purpose. Matthew 21 verse 22 And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. Hebrews 11 verse 1 Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Mark 11 verse 24 Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. John 7 verse 38 He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Matthew 17 verse 20 And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Matthew 21 verse 21 Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith, and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall unto this mountain, 
be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. 